yeah, no, 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 I don't think so. Mm, no. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I had this great idea for this video a couple of weeks ago when I was just like bored doing stupid things on my laptop and phone like taking quizzes. I was doing like a we can guess your style quiz on pop buzz. Very productive use of my time. And it just occurred to me like I wonder if there are any online personal styling services. I've never used one before so I go on a little google spree and what do you know I find a few um, personal styling online services. So how these companies work is you sign up, create an account and then you basically take part in like a style quiz questionnaire and they basically ask you loads of questions about your fashion sense, um, your clothing preferences, what you're hoping to get out of it. And I guess it's for people who maybe don't know what they're doing with their style, they want to try something new, they're not sure what suits them. Or maybe just for people like me who love clothes and shopping and just want to try something fun. So I picked three companies, but I just want you guys to keep an open mind um, and just remember that I am the single most fussy person in the world when it comes to clothes. So the likelihood of them getting this spot on is low and it doesn't mean that they are a bad company or a terrible business. But who knows, they could actually be great, so let's just wait and see. So the three companies that I have chosen are Stitch Fix, Look Hero, and Estelista's Style Box. And I'm gonna be taking you guys through the entire process from doing the questionnaire to actually unboxing the clothes. First of all, I'm gonna give you a quick lowdown on the companies. First of all, Stitch Fix. The way it works is really good because you basically just pay a 10 pounds styling fee for the box, you get to try everything on at home, and then you only pay for the things that you want to keep. So you just send back the things you don't want with the free returns label and then your £10 styling fee is actually redeemable against your purchases so it ends up being that the service is completely free. Lakiro.com works in exactly the same way with the £10 styling fee that is redeemable against your purchases. You also get a 25% discount if you choose to keep everything in the box. And then finally Estelista's style box. So this is a little bit different. It feels like more of an independently run company. It's more of a bespoke service and therefore it is more expensive. The cost of the service is actually £99. So it's pretty expensive. I feel like it's for people who are taking this seriously. It's not something to kind of play around with. It is literally you hiring a personal stylist but online. So you get a phone call or a FaceTime and it's a little bit more of a personal, bespoke, high-end service. So I'm really, really excited to get going um, and I've decided that I'm kind of going to treat this as like an undercover mission. I definitely do not want to put what I do for a living. Um, I think some of them ask for your social media, it's optional so I'm going to opt out. I'm even going to go as far as to use a pseudo name, just in case. <laughs> Who do I think I am you ask? I'm not too sure but just humour me. <laughs> so let's get on with the video, I really hope you guys enjoy it, I'm excited. If you're new here today please do subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn post notifications on and of course follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the next day and it's time for me to start filling out these style questionnaires and quizzes which I'm very excited for and I'm just going to be completely honest in the quiz and try and give them as much information about my style as possible to give them like a really good starting point. I'm going to start with Stitch Fix. So, how do you feel about shopping? Love it. How much time and effort do you put into getting the right look? A lot. How often do you try out the latest styles and trends? All the time. What are the reasons you're excited to try Stitch Fix? Um, give myself a treat. Is this your style? No. Is this your style? No, no. <laughs> no way. Oh my God, is this your style? No, none of these pictures are my style, literally none of them. Is this your style? No. I'm having to say no to all of them because they're all like, not what I would wear. Okay, I think they gave up on the is this your style section. How often do you want us to focus on work, business, or smart casual pieces? I'll say sometimes. What about for a wedding special event? Mmm, rarely. I want casual clothes. What about a date night, night out? Mmm, I could go for sometimes. What about laid back casual? Mmm, sometimes. Do you prefer dresses or trousers or tops? Obviously dresses. How adventurous do you want your fitch stick fix selections to be? I'm gonna go for very. So now you just fill out all your sizes. Uh, and now your proportions. So my arms are, I don't know, I think they're average. My shoulders are 
average, I think. My torso is <laughs> average. My hips are, I think they're average. My legs are, okay, my legs are long. How do you prefer to fit your top half? Um, I'm gonna go for fitted. Bottom half, loose. What do you like to show? Legs, shoulders, waist, not bum, not cleavage. I could show my back and my arms. Is there anything you would never want to receive? Jeans, trousers, blazers. Oh, this is good. So where do you typically purchase your clothes? So I'm gonna go for and other stories. Mango, Oasis, River Island, Topshop, Ted Baker. Are there any colors you would never wear? Okay, black, gray, red, orange, navy, purple. Any patterns you want us to avoid? Yeah, I don't like animal print and I don't think I want any check. Any fabrics you want us to avoid? No. How much would you typically spend on items? This is a really intense quiz. I mean, to be honest, their price margins are really high because you guys know I like to spend a lot of money on clothes, but unless it was fabulous, I wouldn't really typically spend over 120 pounds on a jacket. That's funny because even though I feel like I spend a lot of money on clothes, I was choosing like the lower end of the like price scale that they were offering. So I don't know, like I thought their price margins were really high. What is your main occupation? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put self-employed. Anything else we should know before we style you? We're all ears. So I guess this is your opportunity to just give them any more specific notes. And I'm gonna be very specific because I just want to give them like the best chance of getting it right. Okay, so I'm gonna write, I only really like light neutral colors and pastels. My fave color is pink. My style is feminine, but also cool. I like to keep up to date with trends and make a statement while still remaining classic. I like dresses, skirts, and shorts. I rarely wear jeans or trousers. I love a bohemian look in summer um, and a high-end look. I like to accentuate my waist with high bottoms and I don't love a skin tight fit on my bottom half. And then you basically just choose a delivery date and then that is done. So next let's check out lookhero.com. How do you dress in your free time? Literally none of those. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the girl with the dress and the crossbody because I suppose that's the closest. How do you dress for work? Um, none of the above. I'm gonna go for, I guess, the girl in the red top and the skirt. How do you like your clothing to fit? Tops, mm, fitted, bottoms, loose. What would you like to highlight or cover? I guess I'd like to highlight my waist and highlight my legs. What's your body shape? I am an hourglass. <laughs> What's your eye color? Blue. Your hair color? Blonde. And then you go through your sizes. How much do you want your selection to focus on work? Mm, not at all. Free time, very much. Evening, not at all. I want like everyday outfits. How adventurous do you want your selection to be? I like discovering new brands and trends. Which styles would you like to find in your selection? Choose one or two that you like the most. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go for boho, obviously. I'll go for boho and classic. I feel like that is my style in summer, like boho classic. Is there anything you'd like to avoid? Yes, trousers, bags I don't really need, t-shirts, no, um, and I'll go for scarves as well. Tell us more about your lifestyle. What's your job? Oh my God, another job one. I'm just gonna put other. Are you a mum? No and they want to know your birthday, AKA they want to know your age. But age is just a number, my darling. Consider adding photos. It's optional, but a few photos of yourself or styles helps your personal shopper get to know you and your style. This is gonna be tricky. I need to find some photos that are not like photo shoot photos. Okay, so I have this photo of myself um, holding a turtle in Marrakesh and this was just taken on my iPhone so it doesn't look like a blogger photo and I love this outfit. It's like my whole Zimmerman look. I'm obsessed. So I'll upload that one. I've also got another like casual iPhone photo of me in Paris and I absolutely love that photo too. I'll add this mirror selfie of my little floral Topshop two-piece with the little cardigan and the rope bag because I love that look and again it's very casual like non-blogger photo. You can also add any social network so yeah no 
I'm not gonna do that. And then again, you just choose the date that you want your box to arrive and then that's it. So that was actually a really good one. I like how they asked for photos and your social media. Um, not that I put it, but I feel like that's a good like indicator that they're gonna actually look and kind of get an idea because Stitch Fix was literally just questions. So finally, let's go to estelistas.co.uk. Following are some questions that will specifically help me tailor your style box to your requirements. Please be concise but descriptive. What do you hope to get out of your style box? I'm gonna put, I love shopping and trying new things. So I'm interested to see what someone else would pick. What are some of your favorite colors and styles? I love neutral colors and pastels. My favorite color is pink. For summer, I love a boho classic high-end look. If you've got a picture that might help you express the styles you like, please upload it here. Okay, so I'm going to just upload the same photo as I did before of me with the turtle. Where do you normally go to to shop for clothes and accessories? And other stories, River Island, Topshop, Zara is my favorite. <laughs> my favorite high-end brand is Zimmerman. Okay, where would you shop if you could? Um, Zimmerman, <laughs> Chloe, C by Chloe, Forever New, Dolce & Gabbana, Barna. Do you have any particular fashion icons? If so, whom? Well, I'm gonna put Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl. What are the favorite and least favorite parts of your body? That's a really, really good question. I feel like that's so important when you're buying outfits. Favorite is waist. Least favorite, thighs. Are there any particular needs that you would like to be addressed with regards to yourself and your wardrobe? So I'm gonna put, I only really like wearing high waist pieces as it accentuates my waist and legs, but I don't like a tight fit on my bottom half. Choose up to three dress codes that you might say are important to your lifestyle. So um, smart casual, casual. What's your budget for this style box? So this is your entire budget for her to go shopping with. Um, and I want her to like be able to get a good few things um, because it's gonna be best for the video and obviously I don't have to keep everything. So I'm gonna give her 400 pounds to spend. Okay, so I'm all done with Estelistas and it says that the stylist is going to phone me um, and I have to organize with her when it's okay to speak. So, oh my gosh, I do not want to do that today. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. But yeah, I think that's a really nice thing that they actually call you or FaceTime you um, and like talk through options with you. I think that's a really nice idea. So yeah, I'm all done. Really, really excited to see what they come up with. <laughs> Hey everyone, so now it's time for the fun part, the part we've all been waiting for. My boxes have all arrived, so it's time to unbox them. So let's jump straight in. I think I'm not gonna try everything on because I'm aware that this video is really, really long already. Um, so I'm just gonna try on the things that I actually really like and I want to see, you know, how they look on. So I'm going to start with Stitch Fix. Let's see what's inside. So inside um, I have a little receipt and there is one, two, three, for five items in here that come to 238 pounds. Oh, on a first glance, I am not too sure, but I'm gonna keep an open mind. Okay, so the first thing is this skirt, which is not horrible. I don't hate it, but I just feel like this is kind of basic. It's maybe not something that I would really go for, but I don't actually mind it, and I feel like it is a good everyday essential, and they got the color right, and the fact that I like high-waist things. Um, okay, next. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, 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 I don't think so. Mm, no. Oh, I should have told you the brands. So this is from um, Selected Femi. I feel like I've heard of that, but I'm not too sure. Um, and these shorts are from Edited, which I haven't heard of. So I did tell them that I liked high-waisted shorts, um, and I do, but I just feel like these look a bit like dad shorts, like, these are what like granddads wear, like not even grandmas, but granddads. Okay, so here are the shorts on. As you can see, I've cuffed up this side. It doesn't look too bad. I just left that down for you just to show you how hilarious that looks. I mean, surely 
that's not a thing. They're not terrible, I just feel like I would never choose these because, I don't know, the colour is just a bit like meh. They just kind of look like shorts that you would wear if you were gardening or something, um, and I don't really do gardening. Okay, so next, I'm a bit alarmed by the colour. <laughs> oh no, absolutely. Just, do you know what? There is zero potential in this top, zero. It's really strange. I feel like all these clothes are very old. Like these are not a young person's clothes at all. I'm kind of baffled because I do not know what gave them the impression that I would like this top. It's not horrible. Like I sound like I'm being really rude. Like it's not a horrible top at all. Like it's a pretty top and I'm sure if like, I saw someone wearing this, I probably think they looked nice in it, but it's just so far from anything that I would ever choose. They didn't follow my instructions. <laughs> Let's go for the next thing. Hmm. Okay, so this is, oh, what was that brand? This top is from the brand Yas. Y-A-S. I feel like I've ordered something from there before. I've seen them on ASOS or something. Um, so this dress is from Samso. Samso Samso, which again, I feel like I showed something from this in a haul before. This is okay. It's a little like wraparound tea dress. Um, and it's in this green that I don't like. Um, it's a floral pattern, but it's not a very nice floral pattern. Like it's quite an old ladyish pattern again. Although the shape of the dress is probably quite nice. I'm just gonna try it on because I don't want you guys to think that I'm not giving anything a chance. So guys, here is the dress on. And as I suspected, um, I don't hate this dress. Like it's not horrible. I actually really love the shape of this dress. I like dresses like this. I have a couple in this style. I think they're flattering and pretty and feminine. But this colour and this pattern are just like, not something I would ever go for. I don't like it. I just don't feel like me in this dress at all. Um, so although like it's a pretty shape and everything and if this was like white or, you know, it had a nice, a nicer pattern in some nice colours then I would like it. But unfortunately this is definitely a no. So let's have a look at the final piece that they sent me. I am not impressed so far. Oh my God, no. I know I change my mind a lot and I know I go here and there with my style, but I can tell you for a fact, I would never ever wear this. Okay, so I kind of see what they've gone for. It's a high neck blouse with a pussy bow, which I do like, but this pattern is just horrific. I feel like they've got the silhouettes that I like, like they know the kind of shapes apart from that t-shirt that was an anomaly, but they don't have any of the colors or patterns I like. So I wonder if they're like limited in like the brands that they work with. Um, so maybe they couldn't get what I like, but I just really don't think it's that hard. Like they could have given me like a little white lace dress, a little white like broidery summer dress. Like I feel like they could have done a lot better than this, I'm not gonna lie. I am most disappointed with Stitch Fix. So um, I'm gonna get out of this dress, uh, put this away and we'll move on to the next package. So this is Lakiro, who I think were also 10 pounds for the styling fee, um, but they asked like a few more questions. I feel like these are the ones that asked for some pictures of you or like some pictures of styles that you like. So they were a little bit more in depth in their research. Right, let's see what you've got for me. So they've also given me a receipt for five items that comes to 178 pounds. So it's also come with a little note from the personal shopper. I've been so inspired while choosing your looks. So I really hope you love them. Oh, the suspense is really fun. Ooh, okay. I, I don't know what to say about that. So this is from the brand Unique Only and it's basically a top with zigzags on. Okay, next item. <laughs> this is a disaster. How could, no, what? So this is from Vila Clothes and it's a blue biker jacket. <laughs> I mean, there is nothing that would honestly ever possess me to look twice at this jacket and there's not a single thing about it that is synonymous to any of the information that I wrote about my style. So now let's look at the next look. Hopefully it's a bit better. Okay, so we've got this little pair of shorts. So yeah, they're, they're not terrible. These are from Vila as well, the same as the jacket. I mean, maybe I would wear them. Like if I had to wear them, I wouldn't be like horrified I had to wear them, but I would just never in a million years like pick them out, you know? They're just really boring. Okay, so let's see which top I have to wear with it. Oh, this is a dress. Is this a dress? Oh my God, it's a skirt. <gasps> Do you know what? This is worse. This is worse than Stitch Fix. I would not be buried 
in this skirt. I would not be buried in this. Okay, last item, and this is their very last chance to redeem themselves. And we have this. Yeah, I like this. This, um, I would totally wear. I mean, yeah, it's cute. It's from E Spirit, and it's just a little high neck knitted short sleeve top but i mean it really is like the bare minimum isn't it it's like the most basic choice um so much so that i do not think this warrants a try on because i'm so hot and sweaty and i just i don't need to try this on and get makeup all over the collar i really don't so that was an epic epic fail and i just think that that's a bit of nonsense because like nothing there is like remotely anything that i said like at least stitch fix the things were like kind of along the same lines but just kind of not executed brilliantly these they just like they picked five random things and shoved it in a box that didn't like relate to my style at all but again it's kind of fun you pay 10 pounds you get a mystery box it might be an epic fail you might see some things you like so if you fancy giving it a go and you're prepared to lose 10 pounds for the fun of it then do <laughs> so now for the final box and this is kind of the big one i do have high hopes for this i'm really really rooting for this box because this is the estelistas style box this is the one where i had a phone call with the stylist she arranged a pinterest board for me to check that we were on the same page and we totally totally were and she even texted me and said could you add 50 pounds onto your budget because i've seen some things i think you'll really like and i was like okay so i do have high hopes for this okay Hey guys, here goes. So I've got a little note from her and also some style cards with the clothes on, which I'm not going to look at. Now let's see what she picked. First item, <gasps> it's Zimmerman. It's Zimmerman guys. <gasps> Oh my God, I can't believe, first of all, I've never seen this dress because I stalk Zimmerman. I wonder how much this was because I ended up giving her 450 pounds to do my box. Um, and most Zimmerman dresses I know are way over 450. So maybe she got this from an outlet. I will have to ask her, but for now, let's try it on. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the cutest dress I've ever seen in my life. I am so in love with this dress it is so me like the silhouette the big bows on the shoulders she has literally nailed it in the very first look ah, okay i'm so excited now do you know what this is so cute so she's got me some hair clips from asos because i told her that i was really into shells right now as you guys know i've got my swarovski um shell necklace oh my god and she's got me these adorable little shell clips from asos i'm gonna come up close and show you how cute are they they're so pretty and I honestly wouldn't have thought to get some shell hair clips. Okay, let's see. She's also got me a bag by the looks of things, a little like straw bag from Topshop. Oh my God, she's actually so cute because she's gone with the shell theme again. Um, and it's like very natural, like goes with this whole like linen vibe. It's this really cute little like straw rattan crossbody bag, but it's in the shape of a shell and it has these beautiful bamboo handles. So next there is a shoe box. This is from Public Desire. And already I'm a little bit cautious because I've looked on Public Desire before and I felt like this is not my kind of shop at all when it comes to shoes, but let's see what she chose. Oh, oh my gosh, actually, I'm not gonna lie, these are really cute. They're really pretty. They're little pink, like blush pink, uh, faux suede sandals. Perfect, perfect heel height. I mean, I'm sure I told her, I was like, I like wearing heels, but not like super high heels. This is like my perfect heel height. And then they like lace up your leg. So yeah, I think they're really, really cute. I definitely like them. Don't know if I'll keep them because I, I like them, but I'm not like besotted with them. So the next item is from Topshop and I have actually already got this top. <laughs> I've already got it. So she did really well because she picked something that I already have. Next, okay. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, oh my God, what was that? This is like a two piece. It's from Stradivarius and this is like a little, kind of like knitted crop top. That is actually adorable. And then with it came a little short sleeved matching cardi. I don't know if you wear them together, if it's a co-ord set or if they're just the same pattern, but I think this is really cute too. So I'll try both of those on. Stop, 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 <gasps> stop. 
Reclaimed Vintage. One of my favorite dresses in my wardrobe is from Reclaimed Vintage. That is actually so cute. I told her that I liked, I was starting to get into more like bold prints and things that were colorful. And I love the style of this as well because it's like a high waist pleated skirt. It kind of has that tennis skirt vibe. And then there's something else. <gasps> How have I missed these? I have been looking for a pair of great shorts to show you guys for weeks as a dupe for my Zimmerman shorts and haven't found any. Oh my God, there's more. There's actually more. I don't know how she's managed to buy this many clothes, including a Zimmerman dress. <gasps> that is adorable. So this is what I mean. I feel like Stitch Fix and Look Hero could so easily have just like got me something like this. It's so simple. It's something that's not like unusual or like uncommon. And this just like pleases me so much. Um, I bet it's Hollister or Abercrombie. It literally is, it's Hollister. <laughs> I know because I worked there for four years, guys, I can spot Hollister a mile off and I love this dress. And then the final item. Oh my God, I love her. She's amazing. I told her that I was really into fruits print at the moment. So she's got me this really cute little orange dress. I just love the print, like obsessed with the print. So yeah, there's a lot to try on, so let's get going. So guys, here is the first look. I love this little crop top. I think it's really adorable and very unique. I don't love the pairing. I just think it's the shape of the shorts. They're a bit odd. They're super high waist and I like a high waist, but these are like up to the boob. So I'm not 100% sure I love the shorts. However, that is no discredit to her because I totally would have picked these two. It's something that you get them home and you get them on and you're like, mm, are they great? They're just really, really high. Also, this sadly was too small. I could not even get it over my big bum. Do you know what? I'm gonna take these shorts off because I feel like they're not working and I'm gonna put my Zimmerman shorts on and see how it looks. But I think this cardigan is really cute. So I've just popped the Zims on. They are reliable, aren't they? Although I'm sorry, they're so creased. But it definitely works better with the top because now you can actually see it. I feel like the shorts were just a bit too much. Um, but this top is so, so cute. It has a kind of like a bit of a vintage look about it and so does the cardigan. I feel like you can wear them together but they'd also be really nice separate as well. But I really like them and I never even think to look in Stradivarius because it's just not somewhere that I shop so maybe I should. <laughs> so next is the orange dress and wow it's so flattering. Like it's giving my body such a nice shape. I love the way it's cut, that beautiful like square neckline. Then it just like shapes your body like this. It's so nice. So here's how the dress looks full length. Um, I don't normally like this length of dress, but I do think this is really flattering and super elegant. I don't know, this dress just makes me feel really good. Like I feel really good in this dress and I feel like it's quite grown up too. Like it's quite sophisticated. And then finally we have this dress and I mean, this is just my favorite dress. This is just so me. It's so the kind of thing that I just wear on like everyday casual basis. I'm obsessed, I'm 100% keeping this. This dress is just perfection, it's a dream come true and I'm not taking it off. So all in all, my experience with Estelista's style box is an incredible, incredible thumbs up. She just absolutely nailed my style, um, like she was in my head, but then she also gave me some other things, like to kind of try out like the orange dress and the little like knitted cardigan and crop top. May not have been things that I would have been instantly drawn to, but I ended up really, really loving. So I would 100% recommend the style box if you want to kind of like zhuzh up your wardrobe, try something new, do something fun, add a bunch of new pieces into your wardrobe if you really struggle finding stuff. Um, she was just incredible and she doesn't know I don't think that I'm doing this video so I'm actually gonna email her now once I finish filming and tell her what I've done and that she's got a gleaming review on my YouTube channel because that was fabulous <laughs> so overall I definitely had a mixed experience with the online personal shoppers and stylists um, I feel like the first two are definitely like a low commitment fun thing to do if it goes wrong it doesn't really matter obviously style box is more expensive so it's something if you kind of actually want to take it seriously but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video I had so so much fun making this one thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>